Hi guys, it's B Radatech. In the first tutorial of um, JavaScript, I'm going to be doing something really simple for you. So I'm going to just be writing out a message onto the document using JavaScript. Um, but first, we need to make sure we've included our script on our page. So I've put script type equals text for slash JavaScript src equals well, where I've stored my file and what it is called. So it's in the same directory and it's called jslibrary.js. So I've just said jslibrary.js and we have to end the script like that because I don't know why but that's how we do it and so we're going to go into our JS library.js and start writing out so to write something on the screen um, we can just write it as a message or write it as HTML but still write it in JavaScript so first I'm just going to do a message so we're going to put document dot write brackets and a colon so inside the brackets is what we're going to write onto the screen. This is going to go inside the body, so it writes into the body because that's where everything in the document goes. So, put speech marks, I'm going to put hello go into my index, and I'm going to run it. And that hello has come up. Now, you always must remember to run index or the file that you're using because if I run this script here. It will just come up with the JavaScript uh, script or even allow me to download it. But that's not really that helpful. So we need to launch the HTML page. So now we've done that, what if I want to um, add an ID to this hello or stuff like that? Well, we can actually add HTML to it. Um, everything inside the speech marks. So I could put H1 inside the speech marks. And close the tag there. Now, basically, the document is just writing what I tell it into into the document. So if I tell it to write a h1 tag, it will just write a h1 tag into the document, and then the document will display it. So I'll go back into my index and I run this. As you see, it's put a heading there. So it's just basically writing it. It's just basically doing this h1. Hello h1 so it's basically just doing that it's writing it into the document as I said so I'll save that I'll go back so we can add anything so I'll put style equals color wait hang on let me just I've made a mistake here right when I put speech marks here I'll put another speech marks here it's made it think that that's it and I'll just put some random uh, I put a rep variable or something there and I start it again that so if I've used speech marks if I come up with other things that require speech marks I put single quotes in because that, um, that doesn't stop it from ending it so now if I run it as you can it's red so we can do anything in document dot write it will just write into the document so I can write the whole page so if I just say I've got a load of input types and I just duplicate these down I add a few BRs you know, breaks and then I add a paragraph down here so hello and then I add a span say so I've just added all this um, random code here and if I display it in our browser right now well obviously in JavaScript did that but all of this came up but what if we want to just JavaScript to do the whole page well we could do that we could just leave our body so I'll take this control C we could just leave our whole body like this. Go into our JS library and just copy all that code into there. Uh, but obviously, we'll need to change all of these to single quotes because obviously it won't work. Why? I think it has to be on the same line as well. Yeah, it has to be all on the same line. But it doesn't affect if it's on the same line. I'll just take out these. I'll just do it a quick way actually. I'll just replace everything. Replace that. Replace all. 
and then I'll just change the first two. There we go. So now I'll launch index all. And look, it's all here, still here, apart from the hello, because I took that out, but it's all still there. So JavaScript can be very useful when doing things like that. And that is a document.write. Thank you very much for your editor.